What's up everybody, it's Shimas Rocky back again on the channel and you guys are watching Fluffy Flamingos where we teach you how to do cool magic tricks and how to better your films. I'm sorry I've been missing and I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday. I was on a camping trip in Goblin Valley and it was absolutely beautiful out there. I had a great time with my friends and we're definitely going to be going back sometime soon. My camera, I wasn't sure if it was well equipped for the kind of trip I was going on so I didn't bring it. But I got plenty of footage and photographs from my cell phone. And I hope it's beautiful enough so you can see just a little bit, a little taste of how beautiful this place was. I'm excited to go back there very soon. Also exciting news is that I might be going to California on a road trip with my friend James. You guys have seen James in plenty of vlogs at this point. I'd be surprised if you don't know who he is. James and I have been getting closer and closer every single time that we see each other and I'm excited for this road trip. And I'm just, I'm pumped for all of this. I'm pumped for my new exciting adulthood life. Now the reason you're here is that last week on Magic Monday I showed you a video, a magic trick. It was strictly a performance of the slip jog. Now the slip jog is a very specific move that I use to make a trick. The link is in the description box below if you want to watch it and then you can come back and see what we're talking about. If you have already watched it or if you already come back from watching it, then welcome back. We are going to show you how to do this trick right now. All right, guys, for this tutorial, we're going to be using the Fathom deck of playing cards from Illusionist. Anyway, so this trick, uh, I utilize one specific gimmick. It's actually a double backer, and that stays inside of the box. And I'm going to show you how to use this in just a second. But if you guys don't know what a double backer is, it's just a playing card with the back on both sides of the card. So basically to set up the trick, you just want to take your double backer and just hide it inside of the box, but let it peek out a little bit on the bottom so you have more room to like pick it out if you need to. And then that just stays in the side. Now for the rest of the trick, this is an absolute free choice. They can choose whatever card they would like. Let's say they choose the five of spades. So what you're gonna do with the five of spades is this thing called a slip jog. You're just gonna slide that into the deck and then it's actually still on top. So some of you might have caught it in the performance, but this usually flies by an audience. You're just going to flip it back onto the deck and you're going to cut around half of the pack. And then you're going to act like you're doing this motion of putting the card in the deck. That's what you want it to look like. But what you're actually doing is instead of the top card in the middle, you're going to do it very fast and you're actually going to be grabbing the bottom card of the packet. And to break here at the eight of diamonds and I'm going to try and make it look like I'm putting the five of spades in the deck but what I'm really doing is when I do it fast enough it looks like I'm putting the five of spades in when in reality I'm just pulling the bottom card the eight of diamonds back into the deck. I'm going to pull that out under the deck out jog and you're going to slip that in and now it looks like their card the five of spades is in the middle of the deck when in reality it's still on the top and that is most of the illusion for this trick. So from here you don't want to push it in because you're going to take your box with the double backer inside. And what you're gonna try and do and make it look like you're transposing this card to this deck, to this box. So what you're going to do is you're gonna put one finger over the card that's sticking out. And what you're gonna do is at the same time, as you come down in this kind of motion, you're going to push the fake card in. If you go down hard enough, the card's gonna come out. It's gonna look like it moved from here to here. You can just pull that off slowly, get rid of the box, and then just do a normal double lift to reveal that that is their card. The reason you want a double backer is that if you use a normal card and you do a double lift and say, oh yeah, it was a five of spades, everyone's gonna see that. The double backer is just a good way to keep this a secret. Pull this out of the box, it's a five of spades. That looks totally normal, not looking like a double lift at all. And now you have successfully done the slip jog in an effective trick. All right guys, that is the entire tutorial. It is not hard at all. It is one very simple move and this is just one way that I've utilized the slip jog. You can use the slip jog for many, many things, especially within your ambitious card routine. 
Again, just experiment with the slip jog. It has so many different things that you can use it for, so don't shy away from it. Once again, I apologize for being gone and I'm trying to get a more tight schedule, especially now that I'm about to graduate, I'm having more and more free time, so I should not have any excuse as to why I'm not uploading. So expect a tighter schedule for my videos and I will see you guys on Wednesday for Fluffy Hour. I love you guys, have a good rest of your week, just have fun with it. Life's too short to be worrying about the little things. This is Shimas Rocky from Fluffy Flamingos and I'll see you guys later. 